Hello and welcome to Quick Maths Revision, where today I'm going to be going over, in my opinion, the simplest method for being able to remember all of the exact trigonometric values. So by that, I mean being able to fill out this table here. Because in a non-calculator exam, you will be required to know each of the values of sine, cos and tan for each of these values of x here, so that's 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 degrees. So this is in my opinion the easiest method for being able to remember this. I know there's a method which involves using fingers and, and dividing by the number of fingers below and above and that can get quite confusing. So I'm just going to go through this method which I think is better than that one. So the crux of this method is we have to do in the sine column we do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we number from 0 up to 4. Then what we do is we square root and then divide by 2 each of them. Like so. And then we can simplify each of these. So root 0 is 0, which divided by 2 is 0. Square root of 1 is 1, so the answer to this is 1 half. Then root 2 over 2 is root 2 over 2. We can't simplify that any further. And the same goes for root 3 over 2. Root 4 over 2 is 2 over 2, which is, of course, 1. And now the trick is that for the cos column, all we do is we write the sine column, but backwards. So at the bottom now we're going to write 0, then we're going to write 1 half, then we're going to write root 2 over 2, root 3 over 2, and then 1. So that's nice and easy. All we've got to do is remember to write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in the sine column, square root the numerator, and then divide by 2 for each of them, and then cos is we just flip it the other way around. So now the trick for the tan column, which we've left a bit of a space for, is that tan of x is equal to sine x divided by cos x. So all we're going to do is we're going to divide the first column by the second column. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 0 divided by 1, which is 0. Then you've got 1 half divided by root 3 over 2. And when you divide by a fraction, you flip it and times it. So we've got 1 half times 2 over root 3. Those cancel. And we get 1 over the square root of 3. Which, when we rationalise the denominator, gives us root 3 over 3. Then we're going to have root 2 over 2. Flip it and times it which is equal to 1. And we've only got two more values left, so let's keep going. So we've got root 3 over 2, flip it and times it, so half, flip it, and you get 2. And that gives us the answer, square root of 3. And finally, we have 1 divided by 0, which means that we can't divide by 0, so the answer to tan of 90 is that it is undefined and the reason for this is that you're on your asymptote at 90 degrees and what I'll do is I'll explain that in a further video where I will derive some of these values using triangles and I'll explain this tan 90 degrees undefined in that video as well so be sure to check that out when I, when I upload that and in the meantime, I hope you found this useful and this is by far, in my opinion, the easiest method for being able to memorise each of these specific trigonometric values.